SDS Aron Kony Day in a computer dot com through a video party. Oi. Let me try to make this video short. This is a weird video for me. The blog post is weird. This is kind of one. Of, it's not a problem video. Well, it, it's not like I fixed anything. This is. Let me point to you two quick tips. So I'll cut to the chase. I'll read part of the request, and then I will give you two tips. I just purchased Brother HL twenty three ninety five DW printer, but notice on the box it is compatible with Mac OS ten dot ten dot five, which is, I think Al Capitan. My Mac is OS ten dot nine dot five. Safari now Safari is a web browser, not an operating system. Ten dot nine dot five is actually Mavericks. I'm afraid to open box until I know if it will be compatible. Will appreciate your advice. I haven't unpacked it yet. Just bought it, and don't want to try to install unless I know it will be compatible. So at least they. Th this was a really decent client customer. They were very professional, very just excellent. Just if I could run across customers like this every day, my life would be different. But these goddamn Americans. No. Now this is the exception rather than the rule. All right. So the, I'm not judging. I have nothing bad to say. Nothing personal. But this is a learning experience. So whenever, when it comes time to technology, information technology, electronics, computers, and as well with compute with computers specifically, when it comes to hardware and software, operating system is I think technically software. So let's just keep it simple. When it comes to software and hardware, you must. Perform your due diligence, which is research or searching. So this printer failed. It was an Epson WF thirty six forty. It just ceased. And then this customer purchased a Brother HL L twenty three ninety five DW. And then it sounds like they started to second guess themselves. Either I don't know all the details. They went out and bought it, brought it home. They're like, "Uh oh, oh fuck!" One of those f "fuck me" moments or whatever, or it was shipped to them, and they're like, "Oh fuck!" So they could have saved themselves a lot of time. And I'll give you a, a quick tip. You may not know this. You may know this. It's a paradox. You can find old technology brand new. Under the wretched system of oppression, subsystem of oppression called capitalism, th these manufacturers they just they just make widgets, they make printers, they they overestimate, they underestimate whatever, and all of a sudden they've got ten thousand Epson WF thirty whatever. You know what I'm saying? They've got ten thousand widgets. And they can't sell them, so then it then third party, and then it just kind of trickles down. Well, if you find and this customer was happy with this Epson printer, but it just quit working, ceased operation. But what you can do is you can perform a quick Google search, and I found the printer really quick. Within seconds, I found an Amazon listing. Amazon is pretty decent about it. Most sellers, no. Nah, if you try to sell something used as new on M, nah, you'll get your fucking reseller account shut down if somebody proves it, or if it becomes habitual. Same. That printer is also available on eBay, and most likely it, it it's new. It's older technology. I can't I can't tell you off the top of my head how old that printer is. Could be five years old, ten years old. My experiences are, I would say, you can find. Old technology that's 20 years old, but in my opinion, it's less likely that you'll still find it new in a box. But it is possible. It is possible that you could find, you know what I'm saying, even something that's 20 years old. But I would say definitely 10 years ago, yes. You may not have known that. You may have. I don't know. So if something works for you, if you like something, just perform a quick internet search, and then you might find it on Amazon. You can, as a, I'm an Amazon seller, you can sell. Old products on Amazon that are still new in box. They're they're technically new. They've never been used. The box has never been opened, and you can sell them as new, even though 
that was manufactured 10 years ago. If somebody wants to pay you and and you sell it as new, fine. You know what I'm saying? And same thing with eBay. So two tips. When in doubt or when it comes to computer hardware and software, you must perform your searching. You must perform your due diligence. Otherwise, you could run because and then this brother printer was only compatible with 10.10, 10.11, 12, 13. So that's what El Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And so if they would open that box, who knows what would happen? They might not have been able to return it or a 15% restocking fee or who knows? And there is no guarantees that you buy a printer and even though it, it's not on a compatibility list, there is no guarantees it'll work with Mac. So the rest, this is a strange video, strange blog post, because what I did is I found, I think, every Canon printer that was compatible with OS 10.9. There's actually a list. Canon actually has a list. And I found another list for brother printers that I think every printer ever manufactured that was compatible with OS 10.9. So usually I don't give credit to these billion-dollar fascist, crooked, corrupt criminal corporations but I will give Canon and Brother credit because I was amazed that they actually had such a list. Both of them did. I was like, now Hewlett Packard, did, I, anyways, you know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? They actually gave some good information. All right, so this video is just odd and I'm rambling and I need to run now. The HLL2395DW is a pretty new printer. So, and, but it's only compatible with the last four versions of Mac OS. So, two tips. Find out what the hardware is compatible with. What software, what, what operating system. And then, if you're happy with a printer or you're happy with some technology, don't overlook the fact that even if it's 10 years old, somebody out there, because of capitalism, somebody out there might on Amazon or eBay or other websites might actually have your device that you were happy with brand new in box, just ready for you to buy. And there's nothing, I don't see anything wrong with that. No. If you're happy with the printer, well, why not? Yeah, shit. I've, I've got a 10-year-old printer. Now, that motherfucker, uh, I don't think I'm going... No, no, no. When it finally kicks the bucket or I finally get rid of it, no, nah, I'm not going to... You won't see me ordering an HP Office Jet all-in-one 7410. Nah. Eh, too big and bulky. I'm, I'm not in love with it. Nah. No. I don't love technology, actually. Actually, I rue it most times. <laughs> I rue, I rue the day I ever made the decision to become a fucking information technology professional, I tell you that. Adios.